Yo, what's up guys? It's Jack. And today's video is going to be a 500 subscriber Q&A. Alright, so I haven't really done a video like this in a while. But first of all, thank you guys so much, all 500 of you. You guys don't understand how much you guys mean to me. You guys just make it fun to make videos. And yeah, during this q and I'm just going to try to answer all your questions. I asked you guys to uh, give me questions for the Q&A on my Instagram. Um, at Jack Woodruff with three F's. I got 54 questions, so I might not get to all of them, but I am gonna try to answer as many as I can. So Franny11 underscore asks, favorite sneaker and why? This is a tough question, but I like it a lot. Uh, I will probably say the Cigar 7s from the championship pack because those, the gum bottom and like, I don't know why, but I just like the maroon on them. I, honestly, those are my grails probably. Uh, but yeah, the Cigar 7s from the Champagne Pack, I'll put up a picture right now. The sneaker that I have now, like, in my collection, my favorite sneaker will probably be either my Taxis or my Custom Royal 1s. Alright, so Kai underscore Finessen asked, why did you start a YouTube account? I'm just like a huge fan of YouTube videos, like... Like every night I'll watch like an hour of YouTube of all my favorite YouTubers and I've been doing that for like probably a year I would say so like I've always been a fan of YouTube and when I saw like certain people like I've always watched Kick Genius um, I've actually watched DC Heat since about 3,000 subscribers I've watched Cam Pizzo um, Certain people like that that like have similar channels to mine and found success uh, I just realized that like I could do that. Um, I have fun playing basketball. I have fun with uh, making sneaker videos I love sneakers and so I was like if I can make videos about this and people will enjoy it Then you know, I might as well start now. So I just started making videos. Um, they're super fun to make Honestly right now. They're super fun to edit. I don't know if like I'll get sick of editing in the future, but yeah uh, KG XIV underscore asked favorite nba player of all time and are you a gamer uh, my favorite nba player of all time is dwayne wade um honestly i'll probably like i'm probably a bulls fan now like i'm half bulls fan half miami heat fan because i've always loved the miami heat because of d wade but now that he's traded to the bulls i'll also be a bulls fan and am i a gamer yes um i play 2k play overwatch still play black ops 3 here and there I play like Xbox, not during the school year a lot, but during the summer. I play Xbox a decent amount with my friends, so yes, I am a gamer. The underscore boss underscore 17 underscore 17 asks, how happy were you when you hit 500 subs? Um, I was happy. I will be ecstatic when I hit 1,000 subs. I'll probably do a giveaway, another Q&A. That's when my next Q&A will be. But honestly, like... I wasn't that hyped because for some reason like my subs went way up I don't know what happened then they went down then they went up then they, and then they kind of like steadied out like normally I don't know what happened really but um so I hit like 500 like twice but uh like right now I'm like 508 I think um I was very happy like I'm happy with any growth on my channel I'm happy when anyone you know finds my channel entertaining so I was pretty happy but I will be so happy when I hit a thousand subs and you know 10,000 and so forth if I ever get that far because those are the big milestones Dylan.Power asks where do you see your channel going in the next couple months? I do like this question a lot I would probably say like Well, first of all, I would like to address that or during the school year I will not be uploading as much or probably upload like once a week if I can because you know I have a lot of stuff going on um, I will try to upload like once a week or once every two weeks so if you guys just could stay tuned then that would be awesome um, but I do expect to be at a thousand subs around November December um, I'm not positive I might be more than that I may be less I really don't know how it's gonna go but I do hope just for growth I mean that's all I can ask for is for you guys to keep supporting me. Sneakerhead asks giveaway. Uh, I will probably be doing a giveaway soon. I would say either a thousand subs or five thousand or ten thousand. One of those subs, sub counts that I get to, which won't be for a while. But when I do hit those, I will most likely be doing a giveaway. So 
if you guys are watching this and you know you want to see another q a you want to see more basketball videos you want to see more content from me in general then please subscribe hit that like button comment just just support me in general jacob underscore janellen 99 asks what's your favorite food and why i'll probably have to say like any sort of pasta with alfredo cheese sauce on it that shit's like Mm-hmm. That shit's good. Like oh, that's some five, I'm not gonna lie. Bars? Nah. Alright. Joel Lang42 asks, when did you start playing basketball? Um, I'll probably say like around six years old. And then like ever since I've been playing rec or like on a team or something, so yeah. So Hawthorne underscore asks, favorite move in basketball, spin, crossover, etc. Um I would probably have to say like in in and out. I don't know what it is, but like I just like really like the in and out because like I feel like the way that I can make my body like go in one direction, like sell that I'm going one direction and then go the other way. Um I think it's really effective and I think it's pretty simple. M Daniels underscore twenty seven asks Thoughts on Durant joining Golden State Warriors. Um Honestly, like here's my thoughts on it. This man Going to the Golden State Warriors is going to get a ring. Like, he's going to get a ring no matter what. Like, that team's filthy. Um, no matter what, he's going to get a ring. But he really could have won a ring in Oklahoma City, where he got drafted, um, where he's been playing for many years. I think they were a good enough team that in a couple years or even next year could have won a championship. So, was the, the move necessary? No, but... He was just guaranteeing himself a bigger chance of getting an NBA championship, which for every NBA player is the ultimate goal. So like, I can't really blame the guy, but in my opinion, it wasn't necessary. Tommy Doherty asks, what position did you play for basketball and how did your team do? Um, I do play point guard or shooting guard and my JV team, which is like where I mostly played because I wasn't really playing a lot on varsity at all. Uh, we went undefeated for like JV for the second year in a row. Our varsity team, um, we did win our win our conference, but like record wise, but we lost in like the uh, the conference tournament, and then we also lost in the state tournament. So you can judge how good we are. Ryan Moore underscore thirty asks, "What shoe made you get into sneakers? Believe it or not, it was 2014 when I got into like Jordans and stuff." And I would probably say uh, it was around like Black Friday, like around there, uh, November, October-ish. And I was just starting to watch a bunch of, you know, YouTube videos on sneakers, on Jordans. And I had a lot of money saved up so I could actually buy like a pair of Jordans. And at first I wanted to get the Grey Toe 13s. I thought those were so sexy. But the Black and Fred 6s, which I actually have right here. These were coming out like a month later black friday um and they're like a lot more hyped up um i asked for a couple opinions on which ones i should get and i ended up uh buying the black infrared sixes because i just like like the colorway more like the silhouette of the six more than the 13 but in all honesty the shoe that got me into sneakers probably the great toe 13s asvp saucy asks basketball or youtube um honestly like i'm not that big on uh on youtube like 500 subs like i said i appreciate all of you guys but i do not think that's very big um so basketball has been like a major part of my whole life i love the sport i have a huge passion for it so definitely like basketball over youtube for now and he also asks can i get a shout out Shout out to ASVP Saucy, because I know he just asked for a shout out. You can look him up on Instagram, go follow him, whatever. But I'm going to address this real quick. Like, I get asked for a shout out at least twice a day. Um, I do love all of my supporters. Um, you guys are awesome, but I really can't give all of you a shout out. Like, it's just not fair to everyone else. Please do not spam me to ask me for shout outs. Like, I get spammed a lot. Um, Aiden dot Riley asks vertical. Um, I'd probably say like two to five inches. Um, I think that's pretty good for like my ethnicity, honestly. But 
I don't know. You can judge how good that is. Um, yo, it's Jeff asks, you want to collab? Um, I do like collabing, but like it would have to be like, you know, pretty convenient. And this guy, yo, it's Jeff does have a YouTube channel with like over like, I think almost 2000 subscribers now. So, you know, shout out to yo, it's Jeff. Like that guy, he's doing well on YouTube. He uh, plays 2K and he's mad funny. So if you want to go check out his YouTube channel, K underscore West eight asks, if you could be LeBron James or Kevin Durant, who would you be? LeBron, three rings. KD's getting hate right now, LeBron. LeBron's the better player, LeBron. So, LeBron, yeah. LeBron. Okay, Ryan Ashby5 asks, NBA Dream Team, point guard, you know, the five starters. And then a six man, um, point guard. All right, you guys do not give me hate for this. I'm going to name this right off the top of my head for who I like personally. Point guard, I'll go Magic Johnson. I would put Kobe. Small forward, I would cheat and put my man's Michael Jordan. Power forward, I would put my man's LeBron James. And center, I would probably put my man's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I know I'm already about to get roasted in the comments for that. Sixth man, I would probably have to say uh, Matthew Della de Dova. That man's an animal, you know. Um, yeah. RJ underscore 2X underscore asks, answer this question. No. Matt dot Cartel Cardarelli asks, just subscribe, good content. You're the man, man. Like, I appreciate you. Even though I didn't say your name right, you loyal. Raw Ed underscore two underscore three asks, if you weren't doing YouTube, what would you be doing? I would basically be playing basketball, playing video games, um, you know, just chilling for the whole summer, but I wouldn't be making videos. I do, like, take a lot of time on YouTube, like, every video is about, uh, I would say, like, two to three hours of editing for a basketball video. I'm passionate about it. I am trying hard to make, like, good content for you guys. Most embarrassing moment. I really don't know. I will tell you what would have been my most embarrassing moment. Since I got in two minutes, like, probably the whole season on varsity i get in it's a state tournament game and we're playing this team from like freaking hartford or some like hartford uh school that has a bunch of kids freaking athletic as hell um they weren't like amazing at basketball compared to us like i'm pretty sure did we win that game no nah, we lost but like we were close like we really should have won that game but basically this man like i, I want to say like six seven Gets the ball, comes down on fast break. I don't know what I was thinking, but, like, I go to swipe the ball, like, just try to tap it. I end up fouling him, and this man goes up, and they call the whistle, and he's about to yam on me. Like, he's going up, like, about to murder my life, like, and he smokes the dunk. Like, I mean, he did get two free throws, probably smoked both of them because man was mad tall, but if that happened, my life would have been over. Raw Ed underscore two underscore three asks, are you into sexual actions, drugs, and do you visit the hood on occasion to be gang gang? Yes. All of those. No. Just, why would you ask that? No. Blake underscore Nahalka asks, would you rather get dunked on or have your ankles broken? Now, like I said, like, that would have been my most embarrassing moment. Um, I have touched ground before, but I don't think, like, someone crossed me up so bad that I fell. I would probably say I have to, like, getting dunked on. If you think about it, I'm, like, 5'8". Like, if that 6'7 guy, like, dunked on me, first of all, that guy's an animal. Like, you wouldn't expect me to block him. So, me being a point guard and all, like, getting, like, just destroyed, demolished on defense, and just falling in front of, like, a full crowd of people, like, that's way worse to me, but... Both are pretty bad. So. Yes, it is. That is the end of the Q&A. Thank you to everyone that asked the question on my Instagram. Like I said, go follow it at Jack Woodruff with three Fs if you haven't already. Um, that's probably where I'll be hosting my Q&As. Keep supporting me, guys. Uh, I, I appreciate all of you. Um, thanks again for 500 subs. Next Q&A will be 1,000. So if you want to see that, maybe a possible giveaway, then please subscribe. And as always, guys...
Yeah.